tip it, Ray J. Where does the money go? It's really a simple question with a complicated answer. A Reddit post is raising that question tonight as a concession worker revealed she's never received any tips at all. Fox 13's mm -hmm. Jennifer Holton has been digging into this story, joining us now live outside of Ray J. So what'd you find out, Jen? Hey, good evening, Kelly. Well, I spoke with several workers over the last few hours who have worked many games here at Raymond James Stadium, and they say rarely, if at all, have they received a tip. That woman who posted on Reddit about all of this, well, her post is now being shared all throughout the Tampa Bay area. Sharma Putsky has worked at concession stands at Raymond James Stadium for the last month and a half. I hand people their orders. I take their orders. You know, I'm uh, customer facing. And though her customers have tipped many generously, she says she's never seen a dime of it. In a Reddit post on Sunday, Putsky wrote, I asked my manager for the day if we get tip payouts and essentially was told that the tipping setup was there, but useless to us. I asked, like, you know, what's the deal with the tips? And she just kind of uh, brushed off like those aren't really ours. Putsky was hired through temp agency Pita Hunt, one of many staffing agencies Buccaneers concessionaire Legends Hospitality uses. In a statement to Fox 13, Legends says, quote, Pita Hunt receives the tip money that is collected during their temp worker shifts. Pita Hunt did not respond to a request for comment Wednesday. A former staffing agency worker for Legends who hired concession workers at Ray J told me they constantly had issues. We would staff anywhere from 50 to 175 concession workers a game. And when I tell you we never got anything with tips, we never got anything with tips. She says a big reason for that was they never received register reports. We should have received those so that we could confirm whether or not those employees were due tips. And as for where the money was ending up, she didn't have the answers. A lot of times they think that the agencies get the tips and that we're just holding on to it, but we don't use that practice. You know, if you, those are your tips, it's your money. Putsky says regardless of where the money is, she hopes the employees eventually see it. It was supposed to be a token of appreciation for our work that they were showing, uh, that the customers were showing, and it just feels like someone stepped in the way. Now, Legends Hospitality, Kelly, s says that the uh, concession workers fall into a variety of different groups. If they were hired by a third party, they may have signed uh, employment agreements that stated they will receive tips or they will not receive tips. And I do also want to clarify that this isn't across the board with every concession worker inside of Raymond James Stadium. I did speak with a uh, Buccaneers beer vendor who says that he works solely on tips and commission, so he has never had this issue. Back to you. All right, Jennifer Holton reporting for us. Thank you so much, Jen.